you guys know that I always talk about Christians here on my channel because I want to point out the nonsense that they have to offer to society. But in this video, I'm not going to be talking about Christians at all. I'm going to be talking about something entirely different, something that I have never talked about on my channel before. And I think that you guys would be interested in it. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below at the end of this video. Jacksonville, Florida. Like any precocious teen, Neely Ann is energetic and curious. She dances in great looping circles while the fuddy-duddy adults lounge in the afternoon heat. At five and a half years old, the female bonobo is at a really punky stage, says Tracy Fenn, a supervisor of mammals at the Jacksonville Zoo. Florida already feels like a sauna on this July day, but Neely Ann's mother, Cooney, a high-ranking female, is loving it. She climbs to the top of a wooden platform to get closer to the sun. From the visitor area, about 30 feet 9 meters away, I watch her. Neely Ann, a male named Akili, and first-time mom, Joti, with her 9-month-old son, Lukuru. Summer is often family time, so when Jeffrey Poole asked us via Facebook, our bonobos patriarchal, we decided to get up close and personal with these great apes, our closest relatives, along with the chimpanzees. Jacksonville Zoo, one of the only seven zoos in the U.S. that maintain captive populations of the endangered bonobo, recently invited me to spend a day with our fascinating relatives. Native to the Democratic Republic of Congo, the apes have declined mostly due to poaching and the effects of civil war, according to the International Union for Conservation in Nature. As we watch the bonobos, I think I hear a vocalization called peeping, a short, high-pitched sound bonobos make with their mouths closed. Peeping, which is a very similar to the burbling of human infants before they form words, may tell us more about the evolution of human speech. That's because while most animal sounds have a more narrow meaning, bonobos use peeping in several contexts, including eating, communicating, danger, and resting, according to a study published this week in the journal Peer J. Such vocal flexibility is an important transition towards what we see in human speech, says study leader Zana Clay, a psychologist at the University of Birmingham in the UK. It also suggests that this ability was already present in our common ancestor before humans diverged from the rest of the great apes about 7 to 8 million years ago, says Clay, who received funding from National Geographic. Before I end this video, guys, I would like to take this opportunity to let you know that there's a little bit more to this article, which is why I'm leaving it in the description down below for you guys to take a look at. Now, this last section of the article is something that is very fascinating. And the reason why I say that is because it talks about bonobos being a unique ape. And by unique, I mean they have a matriarchal society where females run things, basically. And I think that this is extremely fascinating, and I think that you guys would be interested in this as well, which is why I wanted to share it with you guys in the first place. So when it comes to science, I think that science does an incredible job in regards to basically, you know, showing us where we came from. I think that science gives us a proverbial window, if you will, to look back into the past to get hints about what our common ancestors were actually like. Again, this is extremely fascinating, and I think that education is extremely important, and I think that people need to learn about these things. You know, I think that people need to develop an understanding in regards to where we came from and what our common ancestors were really about, instead of believing in 2,000 year old fairy tales that serve no purpose in any way shape or form and that's all I have to say about this so feel free to share this video with anyone that might be interested whether it be on Facebook, Google Plus, Tumblr, Reddit, Yahoo or wherever you guys hang out till next time the quiet atheist is out and remember if you can't be good be good at it most of all thank you for watching and I will see you next video